All right, so let's say you've done the floor, you've finished painting your logo, and you've finished painting your spill, which obviously I haven't. So now we're ready to actually show depth and space and form on the soda cup or the, the, the cup itself. And remember, it's a cylinder. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these graphite pencils, um, water soluble, they become paint. Just like our previous graphites, they have numbers. So like 9B, 6B, the higher the number, the darker. So before you do it here, I would kind of grab a scrap piece of paper and kind of understand what's going to happen as you use this, right? And then just with a bucket of water and a little bit of, I would start with the lightest values first so you can see just how dark they get. Doesn't take a lot of water, it's just, and then you can see how dark these guys get. And then you're gonna notice you can spread them just like any other kind of water paint. But once your hairs get the color in there, not so much with the lighter values, but the darker values, you can spread. So just play around with this before you start this process so you understand what happens. All right, so let's say our light source is up at the top, right? And because it's up at the top, what is it gonna look like inside? So inside, we just want to, it's gonna be really, really dark. It's like a tunnel, right? So uh, it's gonna be really dark inside of there and then it's gonna get lighter. So I've got to mimic this curve with my line directions and I don't really want this part to have any value you noticed that even the lighter values are kind of dark so I'm gonna leave that white but you'll notice what I'm doing I'm mimicking and then I want to be super soft and then I'm gonna start darkening up but I'm not gonna to darken too soon Not right. Now you can see how I'm starting to finally get darker. Because I know this is going to get dark on its own. Now up at the top, I may just put a little bit of a hook, like a fishing hook or a candy cane. It's okay if my values aren't exactly right. But this is where I want it to get dark on this edge. So that just playing with that idea, right? Okay. Well, just like previously, start with the lighter values because you'll notice they're not so light. You'll notice how quickly how dark it gets. that happens you can always just kind of take a paper towel kind of smudge that out and while you have water just kind of bring that lighter value into an area you didn't paint earlier Make sure your parentheses. Notice my paintbrush. I'm going with the curve, or I'm trying. And there is the tunnel.